most lawyers in America, that's a dream, mm -hmm. to be on the Supreme Court of uh, the United States. And we all know how they fight to get on the Supreme Court and what they have to do uh, to go through the process is pretty rough. Uh, my guess is that there are very few people, at least in recent American history, at least in the last century, who have said to a president who called them, I'd like to nominate you to the Supreme Court, who have said, no, I don't think so. I, uh, there's no, we can only speculate uh, yeah. or read a lot of presidential biographies uh, to get to the bottom of that, but uh, you may be the only one in, in a r recent history or all of history for all, all we know, but that doesn't make any difference. Well, I, I talked to Clinton about it at some length. We, we had a couple of meetings, and uh, he understood and was in agreement. He wanted to get health care done, he, he, and he thought we had a chance. Uh, we all have felt it. Did that you time. have the, with the Democrats, this is 93. Right. Uh, the Democrats, I assume, uh, were promoting what uh, the Republicans today say is so awful, uh, what they call it Obamacare, which is a mandate that people get insurance. And the Republicans, well, I assume, were opposed to that. Uh, uh, no, that's not correct. It's, it's a, an interesting echo of history. Uh, over time, uh, uh, throughout American history, uh, both major parties have seen their positions change, often in reverse on many issues, usually over a fairly long period of time. In this case, the bill that uh, President Clinton proposed provided for an employer mandate that all employers, other than small businesses, which were exempted, would be required to provide health insurance to their employees. Uh, the Republicans were very strongly opposed to that. So they proposed an individual mandate, that is, that each American be required to purchase health insurance. Wait a minute. So the Republicans' proposal was that the government essentially order each American to get health insurance. Well, you're 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 uh, making I'm, the point that I'm being uh, trying to be provocative, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, but so you're right. The individual mandate was initially proposed was an, a Republican proposal made in, at the end of 1993 and the subject of debate in the 1994 uh, controversy over health care reform. Since then, uh, the Republican position has uh, changed completely and now, as you can tell from the uh, uh, campaign, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an article of faith among Republicans that the individual mandate is unconstitutional and in fact there's a case now going to the Supreme Court many cases which will be consolidated in the Supreme Court uh, on that pr precise subject and in every one of the debates of the Republican presidential candidates they outdo each other in saying that they're going to repeal Obamacare because of the individual mandate which ironically uh, was initially a Republican idea and and just to stretch uh, stretch the discussion a little bit further the same thing is true of the so-called cap and trade on pollution emissions uh, in 1990, uh, uh, when the first president Bush Well, this was is in another office. cap and trade. That's an article of faith with the Republicans and these candidates running for the Republican nomination to attack cap and trade. That's right. Yeah. But, but that's another idea that was a Republican idea at the time it was proposed. We uh, were uh, involved in a major...